Today's technology is bitmap versus vector image. If you've ever taken a photo with a camera, you've created a bitmap. If you were to take the lens off and look inside your camera, you would see a sensor, and the sensor is made up of pixels, picture elements. And when you take a photograph, you're actually recording what each pixel sees, and that information is saved as a bitmap. If I were to open a bitmap in a bitmap editing program like Pixlr, this particular program is part of Google Docs. It's already in your Google Drive. And in this sub program, if I were to zoom in on the picture, before long I'm going to start to see pixels that make up this picture. Also, if I ever want to edit this, let's say I want to change the beak from red to yellow. So I go over here and I select the paint tool. I select yellow, and then I click on the beak to change color. Notice if I zoom in, around the edges, it didn't quite transition correctly, and I, I have some pixels that, that still kind of look reddish blue. For that reason, whenever I create an image, I always make a vector image. The program that I'm using uh, in this case is called Inkscape. This is a, an absolutely free program. It's already installed on your computer. You can install it on your computer at home if you want. And it creates images that are vector images. A vector image is nothing more than lines connecting dots. So if I get rid of the color here, you can see the lines that make up this uh, particular image. Now the benefit is if I make the image really big, it just makes the lines to where they're further apart. I never see those individual pixels that, like I see in a bitmap. In fact, if I were to zoom in on a very small area of this picture, you'll see that all of the curves are still perfect. And that's the benefit of drawing with a vector image. Well, actually, that's the first benefit. Let's say I wanted to do something like um, get rid of a part of my picture. All they have to do is drag it off, uh, and it's no longer a part of the picture. Or if I were to select all of the red parts of this picture, I could change all of them to a different color or a different color. And if I zoom in on part of this picture, you'll see the transition from one color to the other is still perfect. So my pictures are easy to edit. I could also, if I wanted to get rid of all of the letters and start with just part of the picture, I can make this as big as I want and it's still going to look perfect. If you want to do this online, there's actually a very good vector editor at gravit.io. You set up a free account and you can open up a vector image in this online program. You can see all the lines that make up this, this picture. Uh, I took this picture, added a drop shadow, put some text, a little computer icon, and I have myself a technology logo.